Hey, this is Mr. Smith, and here is a title card I made for vlogs and such using entirely free stuff. So Inkscape, totally free. I've got some tutorials I've already made using Inkscape. I'm not going to go over all that here. This image of a laptop I got from publicdomainvectors.org, I want to say, is the name of the website. And that's totally free as well. That's public domain. And the rest of this was just basic shapes. I added a triangle. I added a rectangle. I added my name. Done. I did try to make sure that the image resolution was 1280 by 720. I've gone over that in other tutorials. I'm not going to go over that here. And what we are going to do now is we're going to animate this. Now we can't animate this in Inkscape, unfortunately, or I'd show how to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything except my background, delete it, and I'm just going to export this. I'm going to go to Export As. I'm going to decide where I'm going to save it. BG1 is what I wanted to name it. And I would press save, but I already have that. I've already done all this. So I hit, I would hit save here. I'm going to hit cancel. We're going to pretend. And then I'd press export, and then I'd have a big blue background called BG1.png. Control Z, everything comes back. Then I'd go through and delete everything except for the next thing. Now the cool thing about Inkscape files and PNGs is any space in the page that's exported that doesn't have any data, like this area right here, that is saved as transparent, not as white. So you can see things through it. That's going to help us out. Let's undo all that. And again, every time you export, make sure you're exporting the entire page and it's the correct dimensions. If one of them's different, you might have to do some more adjusting later on. We don't want to mess with that. So let's pretend I've done all that already, because I have, just not on camera, and go over to OpenShot. OpenShot is a free video editor, and it's not the best in the world, because, you know, well, it's free, and you do get what you pay for, but it does support a lot of features like multi-track editing, which is kind of cool. Now I'm going to import all the stuff that I just did by clicking on the little plus sign up here, and I am going to go to my desktop where I saved everything. I saved it under title card. We're going to select these four things, because those are what I want. We're going to hit open. Um, we're not going to import this as an image sequence. Uh, that would be for animation. All right, so now I've got my four elements that I added. And the way this works, whatever's on top is what's on top. Now, that's not always the case uh, in HitFilm and a few other programs. If you actually, I don't know if HitFilm does it this way. I know some programs do. Whatever's underneath actually shows up on top. So. It's weird that way, but in any case, my name, I want it to be the top element. The laptop, I want it to be next one down. It's showing black because that's just how this program shows that there's no data there. Opposite of Inkscape, which shows white in the same space. And put the triangle there. We can see it's fitting in nicely. And put our last background in here. Now, if I wanted to be super fancy, I could have one of these elements be like a bright green. And that would be perfect for adding chroma key elements later on. I'm not going to deal with that right now because not every video editor that I might be using this with supports chroma key. So I'd end up just having a bright green chunk showing up and that would probably look pretty bad. All right, now let's get to the animating. There's a few ways to do this. You can apply transitions and some of these are pretty neat looking. Uh, let's take one of these weird pattern things and apply this to our background here. And as you can see, when I drag the transition down, it's the same length as the default image size here. But I can shrink that down. I don't want it to take forever to appear. So I shrink that down. And now if I go back and hit play, we can see how that transition comes in. There we go. If I had that take longer, it would be a lot longer before my name showed up because I used black for my name. If you use a different color for any text or an element that you have above your background, it's going to work differently for you. So, you know, maybe the transitions are the way to go. Now, the rest of these I want to animate. So to do that, I'm going to right click on a clip and I'm going to go to animate. And I'm going to animate the start of the clip. 
and I want things to be zooming in from all sides. So I'm going to pick edge to center, and I want my name to fly in from the left. And the laptop's on the right, so I want to animate start of clip, edge to center. I want that to fly in from the right, right to center. So name's going to come in from this side, laptop's going to come in from this side. And that triangle, I want that to come in, I think I'm going to have that come in from the bottom. I think that would look better. So animate, start of clip, edge to center, and we're going to have that go from bottom to center. So now if I rewind this again and hit play, and it's a little choppy because it's rendering this in real time. When you export it, that choppiness goes away. When I hit play, zzz, there we go. And I think that looks kind of cool. Now, I can have this just stay here forever. As you can see, it's going on for quite some time. You don't want your title card to be too long. Maybe have it go a bit shorter than 10 seconds, maybe only 5 seconds. It depends on a lot of factors. I can always crop this off in a video editor after I've added it in as my title clip. So, you know, that works too. I could add animations at the end as well. Animate, end of clip, center to edge, have that go back down to the bottom. Animate, end of clip, center to edge. So I'm going backwards. Before I was going edge to center, now I'm going center to edge. I'm going to have the laptop go off to it's on the left side, so I'm going to have it go off to the right. And my name, animate, end of clip, center to edge. We're going to have that go off to the left. And I'm going to throw that board transition on here again. I'm going to have that be right at the end. Let's see. How that looks. So it comes in, and let's fast forward a little bit to speed up the process. Oop. And okay, and that might take a little more fiddling. Now, music, you can add music tracks in here as well. I usually don't when I'm making something like this because I usually want the music I'm adding to fit with the theme of whatever video I'm throwing this into. So music is something that I will add after the fact. But if you wanted to, you could throw some music in here. I recommend the end of a song rather than the beginning of a song because they're already playing notes to wrap it up and it comes to a nice conclusion, a nice little fanfare or whatever. But that is an option available to you so long as you're using music that you are technically allowed to use, which can be a bit of a problem. Title clips usually don't have credits added to them for giving credit for whatever sources you got things from, so public domain stuff is the way to go if you don't want to have to deal with that. So that's the basics of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.